Hi, I'm Ed China, and this is the Delex DK500, the smallest in Delex range of wood chippers. Now, despite that, it can actually manage a pretty hefty five to six centimeters in diameter of your kind of average hardness of wood. And it's ideal for the private gardener, perhaps, or even if you're in the trade, for actually moving your things around into tight spaces. It's only 100 kilograms, so it can be easily be lifted into a van, and of course, you could even push it through a house if you needed to. Now, as with its bigger brothers, you can actually get it with an option of four different motors. So we'll start there. Now, the very first is the Chinese Lifan 168F-2. Now, this has been in service for about 10 years or so without any real problems. So it's a really good little goer. But the only downside, perhaps, is it's got quite a small distributor or service network. Now, next up is the Briggs & Stratton XR950. Now, these guys have been making industrial and agricultural motors for a very long time, and they have a huge worldwide network of service and distribution. So that's actually quite a good bet. Now, next up is the Yamaha MX200. Now, these guys are relatively new to this part of the industry, and their network is a little bit smaller, but it's definitely the fastest growing, and they do make a lovely quality product. Now, the most expensive in the range is the Honda GX200, but these guys invented the industrial motor. We know they have a great reputation for reliability, and of course, they have the world's biggest network for service and distribution. Now, whichever motor you end up going for is probably going to be mostly down to which brand you have the most familiarity with, perhaps what other machinery you're already running, or the most obvious thing, who is going to be your nearest service engineer. Either way, all of these motors are manual start only, and they all come with a three-year warranty, so you know they're all going to be a quality product. Now, whichever motor you do choose, underneath the DK500 is identical, so let's have a closer look at that. Now, just like any wood chipper, you put your branches into the funnel here, into the hopper, and of course, you've got your drum in the middle here spinning at anything between 1800 to 2200 RPM. That chips up all those branches, and then the chips come out of here, and of course, you can choose what direction they end up flying away from the machine from. Now, once you finish doing your chipping, you want to safely move to somewhere else. You can actually close the machine up, make it a bit smaller, and it's still nice and easy to handle. Another nice little touch here is the tool tube. And in fact, talking of tools, if we go over here, each machine comes with its own little tool kit. If we open that up, you can see you've got some spare belts, you've got some spare blades, the instructions, a couple of tools, some safety gear, and some orange paint as well, should you actually damage the look of your machine. Of course, you have a tow hitch here just to make it easy to move around. And talking of which, I'll just spin it around here like so. So now you can see also these lovely wide tires that are pneumatic, so it makes it much easier to move around on rough ground. Now, like all Delex machines, it's very easy to take apart. So we'll do that. We'll actually remove the hopper with just the four bolts so we can see inside the bit that does the magic, the rotating cutter. First of all, just disconnect the wire. And you can start to undo the bolts. It's just the four. So Marco here is going to give me a hand. Fantastic. Grazie mille. Right now, first of all, you can see there's a rubber gasket here, because obviously that takes away some of the vibration, otherwise it's a bit of a megaphone and makes more noise, so that helps dampen things down. Now the distance between the fixed blade and the rotary blades is very critical for the optimum cut, but of course, thankfully, on a Delex machine, that's actually easy to adjust. You can see just under here, there are actually three bolts that hold the static blade down. If you undo those slightly, further back, there are three more bolts, and that helps adjust that blade in and out. Now, it's probably easier to explain on the bench. Now, with the drum out of the machine, it's much easier to see what's going on. If I turn it to the side, you can see you've got the two blades, one on either side of the drum. But also, if you look closely, you can see that either edge of those blades is sharp. And that's because should it start to blunt out in the field, you can very quickly just take the blade off, spin it around, and put them back together around the other way. Do the same with this edge as well. And that way, you can go for twice as long. 
Now, the three bolts we were talking about earlier are what push this fixed blade in and out. But in the kit comes a little spacer. You can pop the little spacer in position. You push the blade into position and do everything up, and then you know it's exactly the right distance between the blades. So you get the perfect cut. Now, with all these sharp blades around, it's worth mentioning that if this cable has been disconnected or the emergency stop has been pressed, then the motor cannot run. So you can't run the risk of this spinning up while your hands are inside it. Now, again, it's very easy to get to the belt. So there are just four bolts that hold on the cover. So we'll undo that first of all. Now these belts are A section and they're 30 millimeters wide. Now to loosen or tighten them, it's very simple. You just undo these four bolts on the motor plate and there are two more on the back which actually wind it in and out, or basically move the motor backwards and forwards, lengthening or shortening the distance between the two pulleys. So it's very, very simple. One other thing that's worth noting is you have your oil fillers on either side here. The best way to make sure you have just the right amount of oil in the engine is to undo them both, top up your oil. As soon as a little bit of oil dribbles down either side of these ports, you've got just enough and you can run them back together again. Now, in summary, it really is a great, very simple machine. It's very good at its job and it's a lot of machine for its money. Fantastic.